And now we are back with World Play Drop Game 4 VR, Gunpia VR, for the second half of the game again. The bad news, we have only 13 up clips in the game. Good news, we still have 13 up clips left. So, let's start off the... I don't know if we longer are short we open one. Short because we're only 22 minutes. So, um, go, so let's start off the second half. We have seen written by Nick Confalone. Can we redeem himself after all invented? Let's find out. Go, so, basically, don't really open up I, this. Per uh, coffee shop, I don't know if they mentioned that. They mentioned the pantry, but I don't know about a shop. And it called the Paw Retail Shop. <laughs> Pun. And they are opening it, and we're looking for app applicants. And while this is going on, <laughs> the biggest mother revealed herself for the first time. We'll get to that. Um, <laughs> I'm already laughing about it. I'm laughing about it. Um, and again, that biggest need to get jobs. This, which involved the first of no, 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 we'll get to that. You can tell I'm a little giddy. Um, um we're gonna get jobs, and their only real option is the quarter pound richest shop, which they can get her out for, even though we don't need a great qualified at all. Um, then, then the red mold majority of the pot making amount to them opening the shop and having to deal with getting and getting customers in and, and whatnot, with them all rushing for the big and trying to get a job there, become big from the cover, they kind of enjoy doing that because they're actually good at it. <laughs> Boy, uh, I can't just jump right into what I want to talk about. Okay, okay. First official appearance of Keegan, and to get all analytical, he is good. He wants them to get a job, he doesn't do anything too terrible. Um, fairly neutral. But he don't want to get a job, so I'm calling him Good Fisher. Go so next, need to like Good Fisher. Go so far, we'll see if he does more. Um, um, but last year, you want to hear about Nick and Biscuit, who is voiced by Shan Shan Cat as well. Oh, that's kind of crazy. Oh, Pink Shan Cat, man, I can I think I'm gonna get any better uh, in terms of giving me things I like. Um, with Nick and Biscuit, if running her alignment, she is good, but good, I mean, she really a and sing a lot, much to the annoying position. Um, yeah, you know, and she's like, I think like a pretty pleasant person, even though she can't mean you know, to her, but she's not saying a villain. She, one thing where she just wanted the victim to try out the job at the thing, just an alien interview to prove they can do stuff, but it's not hugely villain And in the end, if it makes me okay, well, like, they apparently call. I don't know, that ended up a little confusing. But the important thing is, you want to know what exactly deal with Fisher, where she had been. I assumed when I heard she'd be appearing that, okay, we forgot there was four, she had not appeared. Now for the fun part. <laughs> when she first appeared, the big thing just a shot that we are in, can I, I, I don't know if I can say this. <laughs> too funny, okay. Then say, where have you been for the last three things? And, and she said, oh, you mean fall, fall, summer, winter? And she gave me an excuse for it. <laughs> that killed me. Fuck, that fuck, that freaking killed me. Oh my god. They've leaned on, like, waiting for fall, but one thing to worry about, okay, where have you been last three things? But then have them, like, cover it up. <laughs> and after she explained it, they were like, uh, I guess that makes sense. And then later on, they played to buy to go, don't think about it too hard and it'll make sense. That <laughs> was amazing. The writer pretty much admit, yeah, there's no getting a chance to roll with it. It would have been you get her just to have him be a lord, I don't think that would have mattered. For sure, he's kind of guy go girl. But anyway, but, oh, well, he does seem to don't like her, at least. Um, but it seems like he, but apparently she has had I don't know, right? You think of, I don't know. It's a little weird, but they admit they sometimes that people have a joke at the start like catching me in a good mood and the valve right that way for the rest of the episode. Come tell me I'll calm down by the end because uh, Clarence, I put it on two days, I ended up watching it had a couple things similar at the start right and getting right to the good joke at the start. But, in general, I think it was awesome. She really got beat, she was really funny, really energetic, and... Again, even for a fan of Ken, I didn't know it too much, because she got to get some decent range. I mean, she can come up with, like, with Madkin and her, like, they found it different enough to where I could buy them with different characters. Um, so, even though she got gigantic range, I do feel like she got enough. I mean, she can pick up pretty differently. Um, so... Yeah, interesting. Um, 
And you got Kotaro about the X Drift off first, um, with the other thing. Um, you could argue Gap Code is a plot is one that kind of got a few other elements, like when, like, evolving Pepper and Kabogli, like a bit with Pepper, and a bit with Sugar Sprinkle, and a bit with this new pet name I forget. Um, you know, they got full of, like, mini plot going on. And, and they do kind of converge near the end, but I can see why some people might think, okay, they're kind of on the because we're trying to do only thing, but because they have a more general plot line of winning coffee shop rather than they're kind of in the way come up with a pet fit by the general plot of doing sort of thing of my thing come from that. And I didn't do it perfectly, I feel like that energy and the way we're doing it kind of keeps that and each little thing both interesting. Uh, shopping on Get Kong Kong. Uh, not the best one, but we'll get outside for a couple shopping eventually. And it's per pretty good. And the, the game though, she can build Diddy for the other one. She can do a full Kong, which. God. Gotta go with new tier for trucking again. Nah. Um, it's just getting her. Yeah, it's just kind of cool. It's like, again, good Fisher. And uh, again, she is usually like up being kind of like. I think I can wear. They might have gotten the bad part from Fisher. Do have to fuck with you. But first of all, maybe that's why she's the one gone for gone of what we can, and that is why we, keep, we can't take it because the only guy we have keeps flip flopping. <laughs> Even if they're shot, they're here. They could come up with better, but it's like, they're really basically admit and even make a joke about it. And it, it especially if you can joke, oh my god, three and a half, then it plays with me counting. Um, <laughs> So, uh, but I do like Convia. I like Sugar Brick the Fong. You know, I'm just a little annoying, but it's nothing too bad. Um, you know. And again, I like the same stuff happening with Pepper. And, you know, that stuff is interesting. You know, it keeps some sort of energy and uh, And it all back up in a sort of nice ending. And the part I'm most excited about that. Okay, so the Bicket are 10. You know, like Blythe, they do find that they're good at that thing. And like the thing, they want to get a job and do get it because you know, cause even though like they do end up, you know, they like they really want a job, but at one point, the long time, no, you can't, can't do that because that's not our plan now. But like, they're like, no, we actually want to be good at this thing, and and the one the point that 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 they get involved in a way, but it's like. After they find a coffee shop with a counter, but then getting frustrated and making their own, and end up doing really well, and smiling. He <laughs> for sure in a lineup. That's my big, big kid name. Um, um, they're appearing. Gang, okay, we don't know. I don't know. We've gotten to them. Apparently, they seem to be happy with it. So no confrontation on that front. I think that might be a big thing for some people. Like, okay, that that could have been handled better. Yeah, in a way, clear, but it seems like we're just getting that they somehow. But this is real truth, and they're just gonna be cooking and. or tell the news to the you know, they more than they told me before, and they were there and they were just go. But more clarification, but I can glean something from that, go it's not too bad. But the big thing is that by the big thing, have a good drink, we're becoming the good and stay that way at the very end. We don't. Flip flop, and Cork could try to be like grounded, and they don't, you know, it's not even like Dorjand, where at the end they sort of like imply we're trying to give you know, a black camp no mention again. They are good at the very, at the epic end, they are good because they're working at a coffee shop. Finally, they actually do that. And then that go to bring shit with them being all weird. It's like, that's a bad code. I'm like, I don't know if I can. Hope for them doing this right. And it, yes, we can even go so good for my swap, but it's going to bring it back and it's so glowing. And it seems like we're relatively out the back in the, the big kid sometimes, because we call her grandmother now looking for mother. So, and it, it's so glorious, you know? And again, they seem like, and I do wonder if it's going to be like a recurring thing. Because yeah, the big kid have a job for something. That talking about great, which means that they have weakened to which thing, but could leave one being like permanently good, which I like that. You know, I, I hope so. Very neat to be thought we better because that become a recording thing enough for them to become good. I don't mind that. It starts going with whole thing of talking about from the I don't mind it. I should be urged for our guy to turn out a little better when it comes to 
Like, yeah, we call it a lot better because they have so many times they just have not regret. But like that program, it's really good. And in a way, I can really handle it well too. So, that is why I really like good. I mean, it's one of those things right, right over the high of the joke. Um, and the big, being good, being too likable, and all that. But I don't mind the fact that maybe the resolution with the parent could handle slightly better. And maybe you think that might be messy, but. One of the great you do having the general plot thing going on, they keep the energy and the value, and at the end, remember, I can think of a reason why things work out the way they did. So, <laughs> because of like, the energy and the big, I do think the big is turning good, and then t sticking with it, they don't think having to not get the job or whatever, they stick with that, and the end is sick with the character and the big drive. It's because they are, when they're like, they can be genuine, like, well, I do think they have a charm to them when they are, like, night and call that and grounded in the world and you would never know because, so, I thought this was a good way to bring it back, it's like, it's like, you know, you ended the first half on a good note, when you bring it back on a good note, it's like, yeah, if I don't bring it here, this one make it more giddy for more to come than that, it's like, if I ever had a joke about singing, maybe I'd like it more. But, as a whole, maybe I'm a mixed guy, but otherwise, very, very good. And that's really all I have for this episode, and now on to the second episode, because we're in two. So, we'll see you then for Two Pink in a Podcast, and I still love that title. Goodbye.